walk in this world, the way that I dress, the way that I conduct my life, yeah. nothing of me. Paul said it's not I but Amen. Christ that lives in me. Right. I'm glad when people look at me, they can say, well, that's a child of God. Amen. I know who he belongs to. And I just want to thank the Lord for the change in my life. Amen. Amen.
of the goodness of some to sing tonight and don't get mad at me but I feel led for preaching yeah, I'm just going I'm going to just I think it's time to let the man of God come we'll sing after if that's what God's will is come on I appreciate brother Dale he's my friend above that he's my brother in Christ and I love him you pray for him tonight I, I want to say again tonight if you're here lost without God or maybe you listen I know these folks listen and they promised me they'd be listening to the service tonight you can get saved right
right in your living room. Yeah. You can get saved right in your living room tonight. You can call on God tonight. Come on, preacher Will. God bless you, there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. None else could heal all our souls' diseases. No. Like the lowly Jesus, no, not one, no, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He is done there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus no Hallelujah. Nobody like Jesus, are there? Nobody. Praise the Lord. I appreciate uh, what I've already felt in this place tonight. Yeah. Appreciate the good spirit of the Lord. I appreciate the praise of God's people. Amen. You may not, like he said, you may not be the crowd that'll raise your hands, but uh, when you go to heaven, I feel like you'll be out of place if you don't. And so you might as well just do it here because the Lord, I was thinking as I was standing there uh, worshiping the Lord, I got saved when I was just a little boy. I don't know what alcohol tastes like. I don't know what I don't know what any of the worldly drugs or even look like. I don't know what I've been in. I've been in the middle of pot patches looking for ginseng and didn't know what I was, what it was. None of that stuff. So the Lord, He didn't He didn't rescue me from a lot of the things He did you from. But you got to fall in love with His Word. And once you fall in love, you can't glory in who and the pot that you was in. You got to glory in the man that brought you. Out. I can remember as a seven year old boy as a Holy Ghost conviction gripped my heart and I got down on the altar that night. I mean a boy that was raised in a godly home but I'd get in the bathroom and I would sit in there brother Jason and I would sweat. The, the sweat would drip off of me of thinking about a place that I would be in fire forever. Amen. But thank God. Amen. I'm so glad tonight I can worship him because he saved me. Amen. He didn't do all, bring me out all that stuff but I'm saved as anybody else. Amen. And I'm thankful tonight I'm born again and you're to bless his holy name because we got somewhere better to go after this life. It's over and done for. Hallelujah. I love him. The devil fights me sometimes. Amen. He says you ain't got no testimony. You ain't ever done all that stuff but I take him back down to that little old place on the side of the road and I say Jesus if you didn't save me then save me now. Amen. I love him. If you have your Bibles tonight, 1 Samuel. It is our, our desire that the Lord would help us and send us a revival. And uh, and uh, as Brother Jason was say, said a while ago, I've been coming up here uh, a long time. And uh, there's a fellow, I've been working for a Catholic man. And uh, I told him I had to go out of town and have a revival. And he met me today and, and paid me before I left. And he said, exactly what is a revival? Yeah. yeah. And uh, so I tried to explain to him what a revival was and uh, to get together and see the power of the Lord move. And uh, as I look around here tonight, I see faces I've never seen before. And I see familiar faces. But there's one thing we all got in common. We've all got trouble. Amen. 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 We need a revival. We need help. I've been coming up here ever since I started preaching, 19 years. 
that Jason asked me to come up here, amen, right after I started preaching. I, I count this as my home church. I love Antioch House of Prayer, and I appreciate all of you. I was telling J.D., we was watching the service last night, and I watched as he passed in front. Thank you for your faithfulness, brother. Amen. I go a lot of places. There's a lot of faces missing, but I'm on, I want to die on the battlefield. I want to die on the battlefield. Amen. I feel like the Holy Ghost has given me something, and I want to try to help us tonight. It'll take the Lord. First Samuel chapter 16. First Samuel 16. I need help from the Lord. I need the anointing. I appreciate everybody that's come. It'll take the anointing if we get any help. So you please pray for me tonight that God would help me. Verse number 11, 1 Samuel 16. Very familiar scripture. It makes no difference. It's still the word. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Are here all thy children? And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and with all of a beautiful countenance and a goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him. For this is he. Amen. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David. From that day forward, so Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. That's all that I'll read tonight. Amen. May God bless you for standing. Amen. I want to preach. It may be a may be a simple thought, but this is what God's given me. Amen. I want to preach tonight on how to kill a giant. Now, and uh, I'm thankful tonight, amen, that God's still the same God that he's always been. Amen. And I, and I said before that I started, I read the scripture that everybody's got uh, one thing in common. We all do have trouble. If you don't have, you will have. Amen. I, and it don't make no difference if you've got joy at your house. It'll, it'll trouble across the road eventually and it'll come down your lane. But everybody here tonight also has giants in their life. Amen. I want to think about tonight. I was a study in this Sunday school yesterday morning. Amen. We was thinking about David and Goliath. Just a simple thought. Amen. I guess most of us would call it. Amen. Kindergarten stuff. But that's all right. Amen. But now I want to think about this. A lot of times. Amen. We'll go straight on to the battlefield uh, where David goes and he throws the rock and he kills the giant. Amen. Uh, I guess that would be the height of the story in most of our lives. Amen. But that, it was more than a slingshot. Amen. And a rock that got the job done. Amen. It started a long time ago uh, back there on the backside of the desert. And uh, I want to say tonight, amen, there's a lot of people uh, that gets killed out real quick in the ministry. Amen. Killed out real quick as a man of God. And when you try to get out on the battlefield too quick. Amen. I want to say let the Lord use you. Amen. Sometimes we get way ahead of God. I don't know why God gave me this message. Amen. But I want to see some giants killed in this meeting. Amen. But I want to say it's going to take more than talking about it. It's going to take more. Amen. Than measuring our giant and say we'll never be able to fight him. All of Israel, brother Jason, I looked at the height of that man a nine foot and six inches tall and said there ain't no way we'll ever I'd be able to beat that man. How can I say to you tonight, it don't make no difference the statue that you are. Amen. Whenever that you try how to take on the trouble that's in your life. Amen. With your bare hands, you look at it. Amen. It's more than you can handle. It'll be bigger than you can take down. And most of the time, if you ain't real careful, we'll get so discouraged in the fight that we'll throw down the, they throw it down and run and crawl in the foxhole. You say, I'll never run. Amen. I want to say they some giants that's been in my life that scared me to death and I didn't know if I could ever make it through it or not. Amen. Without the mercy of the good Lord of heaven. Amen. I'd have fell a long time ago but can I say if you'll stay with God and go through the recipe the giants can still fall if we want them to. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Back here on the backside of the desert. Amen. I feel like I'm not one of these fellas that puts anything together and makes nothing right. I just try to follow the Spirit. But I was thinking today, Jason, David was content at doing what his father asked him to do. Amen. Just watching the sheep sitting back there. Amen. I'm telling you, he didn't even go down when Samuel come with the horn of oil. Amen. He come down to the house of Jesse. Amen. I guess Jesse thought there ain't no way God can ever use him. Amen. Who's too little? I'll give him a job to do. Amen. He's back yonder. But Samuel said the last time that Samuel anointed a king, he was head and shoulders above everybody else. Amen. The Bible said that whenever the firstborn of Jesse I come a walking through the kitchen, I guess. Amen. I guess Samuel would think that's got to be him. But the Lord said, no, nope, that's not him. You look on the outside, but I look on the heart. Amen. The Bible said David, amen, was a man after God's own heart. Amen. Can I tell you something tonight? Amen. If we'll get a hold of the Lord and fall in love with him. I heard Tommy a worshiping the Lord a while ago. He said, Jesus, you know I love you. Amen. You know how that he knows you love him. It's not when you come to church and stick your hand up. It's when you're on the backside of the desert. Amen. And you're worshiping the Lord because of what he's done for you. Amen. Has he done anything for you? I said he's done it all. I said he's done it all. This ain't a place to come and show off. This is a place to come and worship. But how you kill the giant is when you're by yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Go get him. Amen. They brought him. The Bible said that he poured that oil over David's head. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. Hallelujah. I've heard people get up, Brother, Brother Leo. They've got every word just right. Amen. I feel embarrassed to even sit under them. They know more than I've they've forgotten more than I'll ever know. Amen. I feel so embarrassed. I've been in some revivals with them. Walk in the back of the church. Everybody in there looks like a million dollars. Amen. The Holy Ghost said, Amen. Don't look at them. Just be yourself. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. My daddy told me, Amen. A 90 year old man. He said, Son, don't try to be nobody else. Amen. You be yourself. Amen. Don't be mad when God don't do for you what he done for somebody else. Amen, you be content with your wages and God will let the battle roll in your life. What can I tell you? Amen, I love you young preachers and I'm not degrading you a bit. Amen, but you be, you be satisfied with what God's got you doing. Amen, you may not be able to handle the life right now. Amen, you just watch the sheep. Hallelujah, my wife said yesterday in Sunday school, she said, I can imagine David playing the harp just to the sheep. Amen. He didn't have to have a congregation. He loved the Lord for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a child coming in your life. And if you'll fall in love with the Savior all by yourself, the giant ain't no problem. Hallelujah. He's a giant coming. He's a giant coming. He's a giant coming. Amen. He poured that horn, horn of oil on his head. I don't know. I'd say that if the way I read the scripture, Jesse had to call him to come and take the cheese to the battle. So you know what he did? After he poured the horn of oil on his head, he went back to the sheep. I'm just going to stay here until God gives me something else to do. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. But guess what happened? Matt, he was sitting there one day. Hey, Amen. And here come a lion out of the thicket and a bear and got one of them sheep. He loved them sheep so well. Hey, Amen. That he fell in love with the sheep. Hey, Amen. And he risked his life. And most of us, hey, Amen. These people in my church, I've made the statement. There's a lot of there's a lot of preachers would run me down if they come and see the people in my church. Amen, but I love them because you know why? Amen, that's way down in sin's prison. Hallelujah. I love the sheep. I love the sheep. I love the sheep. Hallelujah. And if you'll love the sheep and love God, the child will fall when you get on the battlefield. Amen. You got to be content doing what God wants you to do. Don't get out of your place. Don't get out of your place. Amen. I said, don't get out of your place. Amen. 
And David never mentioned that line in that bar no, no, until he got in front of Saul. Oh, that's right. Amen. I need you to take these cheese down there to your brothers. Yeah. I didn't hear him say, well, I think maybe the Lord will want me to take my sword. I'm just going to take these cheese. Yeah. And then I'm leaving. But when he walked into the camp, there was that giant. And everybody knows the story. Who is that? They started making fun of him because they was afraid and he wasn't. That's right. You're right. Amen. Amen. He didn't look at his height. No, no. They ain't no man, no man that could take a hold of a bear and whip it on his own. No, no sir. No. They ain't no, but they ain't no man could ever lift enough weights to be stronger than a bear. So David knew if he got the lion out of the mouth and then whooped the thing, Amen. He knew this fellow wasn't going to be no problem. But while he's sitting on the rock writing, the Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. Amen. I'm these little old sheep shepherd, but the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still water. Hallelujah. When you get out there on the battlefield, it ain't about patting you on the back or saying I whipped a giant. It's about looking how big the Lord, amen, is and what he's done in your life. I say hallelujah. Amen. The giants can still fall. Amen. Can somebody say the giants can still fall? If you'll be content, amen, following God and stand with him, it'll amaze you what God can do. Amen. Hallelujah. But before he whipped the giant, the Lord gave me this today. I'm going to give it to you and then move on. I'm not going to preach much longer. But before he ever got to the giant, he committed to go fight and never had no ammunition. He put all that armor on, said, I've not proved this. Took it off and laid it down. He got that staff, that shepherd's bag and that sling, and he headed towards the giant with no ammunition. He got down there in the valley. Can I say, amen, before you can ever whip the giants, you're going to have to face a few valleys. And you're going to have to go through some hard times. You're going to have to pray a few days. If God answered every prayer the first time you prayed it, your head wouldn't fit in a five-gallon bucket. Hallelujah. I prayed a million prayers for things going on in my world. I'm not going to say what they are. There's things going on in my world. And I look around and I say, God, where are you when I need you? Yeah. Hallelujah. Sometimes, Brother Brandon, I feel like I ought to go, to go down in the valley to ever get my ammunition. Amen. The Bible states very clearly he got five smooth stones. Amen. You go over here in this creek. Amen. You, you can go up here on the hillside and get your rock that's got the jagged edges. But you go over here in this creek. Amen. Where the water has flowed over it day and night where the storms has tumbled in over in and has broke the rough edges off of it. And can I say it don't matter how long you've been in church amen the spirit of the Lord that needs to be on us more than it is. Amen. We've developed a love for the things of the world and it's took the place of the spirit of the Lord. The spirit ought to be so sweet that we hunger after it all the time. We ought to love that horn of oil. Hallelujah. I bet you, David, when he was sitting back over the sheep, he could still feel that warm oil pouring over his head and say, I can't wait till I get back to that again. I know we go through the trouble. I know we go through the sorrow. But praise the Lord, let the Spirit run over us and let it knock the rough edges off of our life. Hallelujah. And it brought him down. Amen. It brought him down. Esther, she's going to go before the king to see whether or not she's going to be the queen. They brought her all the things for purification and then decided, over here's a wardrobe, you can choose whatever you want to wear. Here's the makeup, you can paint up and be whatever you want to. Make yourself as pretty as possible to make that queen, that king choose you. But you know what she said? I'll just be pure. Yeah. And I'll just be myself. Just be myself. Yeah. Can I tell you, young ladies, the best day in your life is when you'll fall in love with Jesus and just say, I'm just going to be pure. That's right. That's right. 
a lot of us preachers and I'm not one of them and I'm not bragging about it but I just as soon open the door for people as my name be on the sign but there's a lot of preachers glory they get up and they preach their messages and the pastor gets up behind them and brags on them and pats them on the back and takes them up a love offering out the door they go shaking hands amen either feeling like they've hit it out of the park or they're dragging their tracks out but there's a lot of you young ladies there's a lot of you older ladies you never hardly hear my wife or your wife ever say a word amen but can I tell you something tonight hallelujah amen I'd rather have a hand amen it wasn't even opening her mouth to pray but the spirit of the Lord amen she was content of being pure before the Lord hallelujah can I tell you tonight it ain't what the world can paint you up to be to make the king of all kings accept you amen if you want the giant to fall in your life let's just be pure I said let's be pure let's be pure let's get our hearts open before God and say God clean us up help us to be more like you and be content just being you and being pure and I know the king will choose you hallelujah Amen. amen I can see that little girl my wife me and my wife got married she looked so beautiful never had no makeup on she was just Melanie yeah and there was nothing no prettier than my bride that day yeah ain't nothing looks no prettier to God than the heart that's pure amen I said in a heart that's pure you can come in this church you can stand behind the pulpit you can lead singing you can teach Sunday school you can get in the choir you can cover up a whole lot of stuff with the things that we want to because they're called religion and wonder why the spirit of the Lord is nowhere around Hey, but if we'll cleanse ourselves and purify ourselves, I said, Hallelujah. Let's purify ourselves. Let's purify ourselves. Hey, Antioch, and wherever you're from, and Dale Wheeler, in this revival, if you want to see your loved ones walk down the aisle, hey, some of you prayed a many a prayer. Hey, remember, God help us. You say, My heart's pure. Well, then hold on. Hallelujah. When you go before the king, I don't know what he'll do, but you'll be accepted. Thank God. I want to say, Hallelujah. Don't let nothing in your heart hinder that giant falling. Amen. Don't run from the giant. You ain't got no choice but to run. If you know, amen, you've got something you don't need in your heart. But if you'll purify yourself, the king will accept you. Hallelujah. We all we all glorify God because we see Joseph riding down in the chariot. He's the second in command. But it took a lot of things. To get him to there. Right. They sure did. Yeah, right. I look at some of these men. Elisha said, I want a double portion. Yeah. And Elijah said, You've asked a hard thing. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. That's right. Yeah. It wasn't that it was hard for God to do it. But Elisha looked Elijah looked at all them hardships that he went through. Yeah. And he said, If you're going to do that, you're going to have to face them too. That's right, Dale. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Boys, I love you. Amen. But be ready. Oh, yeah. These giants. Can I get a witness? Oh, yeah. These giants. Yeah. These giants. Yeah. The biggest giant is a killer in our day. It's called jealousy. Amen. 